Hello. In this video we use this demonstrator to explain how the Motion Logic Controller, MLC, can work with different drive systems. In this demo we see Control X drive for enclosure installation, and the Cabinet Free Interdrive MI. The system topology shows, that the MLC connects with Circo's automation bus over Ethernet. With the hybrid cable to the Cabinet Free Motor Drive, KSM02 and Near Motor Drive, KMS02. The Control X Drive Converter XCD is used as the power supply. The dual inverters are not used. And no motors are connected, because of the demonstrator space constraints. The e-stop and guard safety switch are directly wired to all drives for safe torque off, STO. Here a quick look at the wiring of safe torque off. The dual channel pulse source for e-stop and guard switch comes from the KCU interface. Then the STO signals are wired to the XCD inverters and via the KCU and hybrid cable to the cabinet free drives. With any drive system, it is important to monitor the power supply and drive inverter status. And control the modes for the desired error reactions. The drive system supply status can be shared using the communication bus or a wired signal. In this demo, the supply status is output at the XCD and wired to an input in the KSM02. Then in the KSM02, the supply status is shared in the hybrid cable with all cabinet free drives. Now we explore some of the demonstrator functionality, starting with the synchronized motion. We can see two motors in phase synchronized motion cycling through three different speeds. To open the safety guarding without causing an error, we can press the access push button. The MLC controller then performs a controlled synchronized stop and disables the drives. When we open the guarding, all drives get switched to safe torque off, without an error. The demo HMI indicates that the guarding is open. Now the user can safely adjust the motor wheels, not the yellow markings. However, the synchronization command offset in the HMI is still zero. After closing the guarding, we can restart and the motion synchronizes up to the previous angle. Now, we can change the synchronization angle while motion is active. The offset change is added per the application's configuration. When we stop the motion, we can see the adjusted offset in the difference of the yellow marks. Let's review all the situations that activate the safe torque off function in the drives. To avoid errors, it is best to request access which performs a controlled stop. After the motion stops, the drives get disabled and we can open the guarding without error. The drive supply power is still active, but the motors have no power. After we close the guarding, we confirm that the guarding was open, and restart the motion. When we open the guarding with the drives enabled, an immediate safe torque off is applied. As soon as the guard safety switch is open, the motors have no power and can coast. This event also causes errors in the drives and motion controller. After closing the guarding we can reset and restart the motion. When we press e-stop an immediate safe torque off is applied. And the supply to the drives is switched off. This event can cause errors in the drives and motion controller depending on the setup. After resetting the e-stop we can switch drive power on and restart the motion. This concludes our review of this demonstrator. Always ensure that safety functions meet the risk assessment, required machine standards. And follow the respective product documentation.
Thank you for watching.